Think Mastermind Presence. Inverse Laplace Transform by Convolution Theorem. After watching this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Inverse Laplace Transform by Convolution Theorem. It is very important topic in first year engineer mathematics. First, we are going to see what is the convolution. Convolution of two function f of t and g of t defined by f of t star g of t is equal to 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du. Here the star represents the convolution operator. Now we have to see what is the Laplace transform of convolution. We are taking the f of t star g of t star represent the convolution laplace transform of f of t star g of t is l of f of t into l of g of t that is product of laplace transform of their respective function so similarly from using this definition we have to see what is the inverse laplace by convolution theorem if f of t is l inverse of pi 1 of s and g of t is l inverse of pi 2 of s then L inverse of product of two function is equal to L inverse of pi 1 of s star L inverse of pi 2 of s that is f of t star g of t. Now we are going to see the problem using convolution. So you are given L inverse of s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square. Here a and b are the constant. Using the convolution, I can write it is a product of the two functions that is s into s square plus a square into s by s square plus b square that is using the convolution, I can write it is a convolution of product of their respective inverse function that is L inverse of s by s square plus a square star L inverse of s by s square plus b square. So Laplace inverse of s by s square plus a square is cos a t star L inverse of s by s square plus b square is cos b t. Now using the convolution of f of t star g of t, here the f of t represent cos a t, g of t represent cos b t. Already we seen that the convolution theorem from that 0 to t instead of cos a t I can write cos a u instead of cos b t cos of b of t minus u d u. So using the cos A cos B trigonometric formula, cos A cos B is equal to cos of A plus B by 2 plus cos of A minus B by 2. Using that from 1 can be written as 1 by 2 times of 0 to t cos of angle AU plus BT minus BU plus cos of A minus B, AU minus BT plus BU. Now you simplifying this that is equal to 1 by 0 to t cos of u is a common element for this. You take a minus b into u plus bt plus cos of a plus b into u minus bt du. Integrating with respect to u, we know that integration of cos a t dt is sin a t by a using that. The integrating sin of a minus b into u plus b t divided by a minus b plus sin of a plus b into u minus b t divided by a plus b with the limit 0 to t. Now applying the upper limit that is you substitute for u the upper, upper limit sin of a minus b into t plus b t divided by a minus b plus sin of a plus b into t minus b t divided by a plus b. Now applying the lower limit 0 minus in the place of t is 0 that is sin b t divided by a minus b minus sin of minus b t divided by a plus b. We know that sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. Simplifying the above equation we get sin a t by a minus b plus sin a t by a plus b minus sin b t by a minus b plus sin b t by a plus b. For simplification take a sin a t is common 1 by a minus b plus 1 by a plus b minus sin b t 1 by a minus b minus 1 by a plus b. Simplifying these terms by taking the LCM we can obtain 
a plus b plus a minus b divided by a squared minus b squared. Here simplifying this term a plus b minus a plus b. Your like term b, b will be cancelled and a minus a will be cancelled. Simplifying this term you can obtain sin a t 2a divided by a squared minus b squared minus sin b t 2b divided by a squared minus b squared. Taking the common term 2 divided by a squared minus b squared that is 2 divided by 2 times of a squared minus b squared a sin a t minus b sin b t. So, L inverse of s square by s square plus a square into s square plus b square is equal to 1 divided by a square minus b square into a sin a t minus b sin b t. Using same procedure, we can find Laplace inverse of the following functions with the respective answers is given. We are using the trigonometric formula here. Sin a cos b is equal to sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b divided by 2. Sin a sin b is equal to cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b divided by 2. Cos a cos b is equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b divided by 2. We use the Laplace transform formula. L of cos a t is equal to s by s squared plus a squared. L of sin a t is equal to a by s squared plus a squared. Similarly, we can use L inverse of s by s squared plus a squared is cos a t. L inverse of 1 by s squared plus a squared is equal to 1 by sin a t. Hope this video is useful for you. Please subscribe, like and share.